This is Coach Boo Mitchell coming to you straight from the hip. Uh, here today we are again doing our series of Athletes Inside Out. Today I have Mr. Kyle Kingsbury. Kyle, uh, for those who don't know you as well as I do, since we've known each other for so long, give them a little snippet of yourself. Uh, we know where you're from, when you started playing football, things of that nature. Uh, I'm from North Carolina, uh, Clayton area. I started playing football when I was like six, pretty much as soon as I started playing tackle. Okay. And uh, just been playing ever since. Have you always been a uh, Peachtree Ridge Lion? Yeah, always Peachtree Ridge. Always Peachtree Ridge. Mm -hmm. um, Talk a little bit about uh, your journey, because I know that when I first met you, I think you were a tight end or yeah. a linebacker or something yeah. like that. So talk so, about that a little bit. I was a center for like two, three years maybe. Yeah. And then... Uh, but what ages was that now? That was like six through eight, and I was also playing D-end. And then when I was about like 10 or 11, that's when I transitioned to quarterback. Okay. So uh, the quarterback position obviously is a is a is a very difficult position. Talk about how you feel about the quarterback position. Um, I mean, it's just it's just different from every other position. You know, there's only one. So um, you know, it's always about being the leader and um, just trying to get your team, you know, pushing them. And you know, it always starts with you. So, Peachy Ridge. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's 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 had its good years, and as of late, it's had some difficult years. Mm -hmm. You. And I, and I know your parents very well, and I know that they had the means to, you know, relocate and whatnot. But my understanding is you didn't want to relocate. You wanted to stay and remain loyal to the Ridge. Talk about that a little bit about why you chose to stay there. Um, I just felt comfortable there. And, um, you know, I've been playing there forever, so I know everyone there. So I just felt like it just wasn't right just to leave and just jump on a new team just because I felt you know, we were gonna win more games or whatever. It just, it just felt right to stay there and um, just continue on with what we built. Okay, because uh, like I said, that you don't see that these days. Just mm -hmm. to be honest with you. I mean, you know, I know some kids. Uh, four years, four, four high schools. You know, uh, three years, three high schools. So I think that that's very noteworthy to know that you know you stayed the the course and been loyal. To, uh, to Peachtree Ridge for all these years. I know that uh, Coach Dancel, you know, is, is your head coach, and I'm, I'm good friends with him. And I know he appreciates that. So uh, I just, you know, it's, it's, it's strange hearing that from a young man these days because you don't get to hear that all the time. So talk to me about Kyle outside of football. What does what does Kyle like to do? Um, I, I resell sneakers, actually. Um, so I bring, resell sneakers. Yeah. So like, uh, you know, Jordans, Yeezys, all that. Like. Um, I'll pretty much just, you know, I run bots online and I'll just get a bunch of them and just flip them that way. It's okay, just hold on, much. hold on, hold on. Stop. <laughs> How did all this start? Where, where did, where did this big idea come from? Well, I, it was just in middle school, just like, you know, having, you know, nice shoes is just, you know, cool or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, I didn't have that much money, so I couldn't, you know, just ask my parents every single week for a new pair of shoes that were just dropping. So. I would um, just take what I had and then I would go to like these sneaker conventions with like a bunch of different people and I would just flip, you know, the pairs I had, sell those and just kind of just keep moving up and up on my collection and just getting more and more pairs. And then, um, you know, that was really just for my personal side, just have more shoes. Okay. And then I really um, started pushing it toward like financial wise, just actually just focusing on getting the shoe and then just selling. Give me, give me the most amount you've ever made off of a pair of shoes. Just like one single just, pair? Just one single pair. It's like. 2500 probably just on the oh, yeah. oh my god yeah it was this uh this limited edition travis scott shoe i just so how, so how long have you been doing this <laughs> since i was like probably 12. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah um if if you could pick one quarterback that you would want to model yourself after i'm talking about college pro it might even be somebody in in your youth or mm -hmm. high school football who would that quarterback be Easily Tom Brady. He's, Tom Brady. Easily. Yeah, he's consistent on every single every single time. He never fails, you know. Okay. He's just always consistent with what he does, and I think that's just the best. Yeah. So, you know, there's a lot of quarterbacks out there. You know, there's Roger Staubach. Yeah. And you don't even know who Roger Staubach is. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes. 
<laughs> Terry Bradshaw, me. I'm talking about past and pre. You know, uh, all those guys out there. And yours is Tom Brady, without a doubt. For sure, yeah. Because he doesn't, he doesn't do anything it, special. He just does what he's there for. Is it because he's a goat? I mean, come on now. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, it's easy to say it's gonna be the goat. Yeah. Okay. If, if, if you say something, talk to me a little bit about your parents because uh, I've known your parents for a long time. Uh, I, I think they're special people. You, you tell me how you feel about your parents. I mean, they're great. Anything I need, you know, I ask them for, and um, they're always pushing me to be the best in anything I do. So, you know, whether that's sneaker wise or, you know, they're always helping me out no matter what. Like when I was. Um, when I was 12, I remember, uh, because you know, obviously the, the shoes would sell out really fast, my dad, um, I asked him to come with me to Mall of Georgia and we camped out, probably, I don't even know, it was like 4 in the morning, he came with me, and he just stayed with me the whole time just to get the shoes. And it, just to get the shoes? Yeah. So 4 he, in the morning? Yeah. He woke up, came with me. So but that's yeah. pretty special. Mm -hmm. Well, Kyle, I hope that everybody has enjoyed getting to know you as much as I have. And I love doing these things, folks, because I learn more about you guys in the five minutes that we do this than I've been knowing you since you're about 11 years old. And I never knew half the things I learned about you just now. So folks, we appreciate everybody tuning in and uh, I hope you enjoyed getting to know uh, Kyle Kingsbury uh, as an athlete from the inside out. This day and age, it's strange to see young men who have great loyalty. In this case though, it's definite and true. And if I had to cast a guess, his future's guaranteed success in anything that he may choose to do.